All right. There we go, right? We're in yeah. a good position. All right, man, you ready? Yeah, Let's I know it. me about it, but anyway. I'm a little nervous, too. We got to share a lot of great information with everybody, but we can do this. Everybody don't know about the app. They don't know about some the app. Some people, they know, but some people, they don't know. They like, wait, what do I need to do with the app? Absolutely. How do I do that app? How do I do anything? Right. And then what do they remember everyone? We are dealing with you died. How do you do to open app? And here we doing five, four, three, two, and one. All right, everybody. So just like Nick mentioned, today we're going to show you how to use the TrueFit app. There's a lot of ways that you can use it, and it's important that we show everybody all the cool features so that you can get excited and you can start maybe your own team, start exercising right now yourself. So when you get on your phone, remember you're going to get the app downloaded. Once you have that app downloaded, you're going to hit on that icon there. It's going to bring up the TrueFit profiles here showing us what all of our teammates and friends have been doing. So me and Nick, we can check out, see what our friends have been up to, see what workouts they've tried. And right off the bat, we're already kind of engaging with our team. Now I'm on here as a coach. And so check this out, Nick, this is pretty neat. Look at these, these are all the teammates on our team here. And on here, we got you right there. So I can go to your profile here and I can assign you workouts. I can check out your favorite exercises and uh, see what workouts you've completed. Now, we just got started on the app, so we're gonna get this populated coming up pretty soon. Um, but again, look at all these athletes on here, and this is all people who are in our team, and I think it's pretty neat that we got such a great team. People at home, if you wanna create your own team, what you need to do is have a coach. You need to find a coach, have that coach create a coach's account. That coach can then create a private or a public group in that team can then be maybe friends from our, our house facilities. Maybe we work at an organization. Maybe we have friends from that organization or from school. Maybe we have friends from social media and we want to gather on a social media, on a fitness platform, and we want to exercise. Well, this is going to provide that solution. So find a coach, have the coach set up as a team. I got my team on there. You can call your team. You can give it a great name. Nick is going to have maybe Nick's workout team here soon. And you could join Nick's workout team uh, and do exercises and workouts that are designed by Nick and uh, workouts that are created by Nick and assigned to you. So that's kind of neat. Something else here, like I can go and just create a workout. So all these workouts, Nick, let's create a workout right now. So um, what do you want to call the workout? Nick ultimate workout. Nick's ultimate workout. Yeah, right, we, number one. We have, we have an exercise like that. So we're going to be able to use that. So Nick's ultimate workout, number one. And we're going to now enter a description for that workout. So uh, what this is Nick's ultimate workout, huh? Yeah. Okay. So this is Nick's ultimate workout. We're going to type that in. And that's going to be a message that will be with the um, workout for the rest of its life there as we have it up. So now I'm going to go here. And what I'm going to do is add an exercise. Now, this is kind of neat. And again, Nick's one of our team leaders. He's on the live show. So if you're watching our live shows, but right here. It is Nick Ultimate Workout Number Uno. So this is Nick's Ultimate Workout Number One, and you can see that right there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add Nick's Ultimate Workout Number One to this workout list. Do you want to add any other exercises to this in addition? Yeah, I want to add the plank. He wants to add in the plank. All right, so we're going to go in here, and I'm going to type in plank, and there's planks right here. So let me show you how we did that there. Again, I typed in plank into the search, and then it's going to bring me up with planks, ec plank exercises. And I have a couple different planking options. It looks like I have planks on the ground and planks if I'm using some rings. Let's do these ground planks. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, so we just select that, and then I'm going to hit done. And now check this out. In Nick's workout, we have Nick's ultimate workout number one, and we have planks. Let's show them that. Check that out right there. Nick's ultimate workout number one and planks. So let's go ahead, Nick, go ahead, let's hit save workout. Hit that orange button right there. Nice. All right, that workout has now been saved. You want to assign this workout to somebody on our team? Yeah. All right, so this is what's great, everybody, about being a coach and having this app. So now me and Nick just created this workout. We're going to go in here, and we're going to decide if we want to add any adjustments. You know, as a coach, you're thinking about your athlete. 
And so we want to do it, maybe do it just like Nick. Yeah. Uh, that's an adjustment on here. You can do it just like Nick. And we're going to do it for uh, one full workout. And then planks, let's go ahead and we're going to select an adjustment. Um, how about lift the foot off the ground? Yeah. So this is going to make it a little more difficult. Let me show you all this here. On the every exercise, we have adjustments. And each one, you're going to see 5A all the way down. It's going to go all the way down here to 5B. And that's going to give you a progression regression scale. So in this case, we're going to make it just a little bit harder in our assignment. And how many seconds should we do it for? 50. For 60? Yeah. Wow. Okay. For the highest amount of time. We're going to go next. And now this is neat. Check this out. We have our team here and we're going to assign this workout to some of our team members. So let's go ahead and assign it to Mark and, and, and Pat. Ben. Let's assign it to Fahad and let's assign it to Adam. Does that sound good? And do Ben. And to Ben. All right. Here's Ben right and there. And do Ed Hill. And Chris Hill. All right. Everybody's getting this workout. And now go ahead and hit next right there. All right. And then in this, we have a chance if we want to put any notes and I'm going to put in here try nick's workout yeah okay and let's go ahead and hit that orange button to sign workout right there all right and there it goes it says workout assigned successfully you can see up there at the top of the workouts we got nick's ultimate workout number one and that's just how easy it is to create a workout you can do this as a coach you could be sitting at home on your phone get off all those other time wasting apps and put your time into something that's going to be productive for you and your friends you can create workouts, you can assign those workouts, you can practice those exercises. And if you also wanna to add to the library, you're gonna have a chance to do that as well. So here's our exercise library. And this is, have you seen this, Nick? Yeah. What do you like about this here? I did that, that you, that you didn't pay you end of that, that you motivation. If you want to be easy, like how do you want them the ability of the strength training you then it and you then add it to your plate. Absolutely right. So what Nick just said, again, I mean, right on the money, you can scroll through the exercise and say you just want to work on strength and stability. Well, there they are. So I could click on, let's click on stability here. And it's going to give me exercises that have a stability component. So if me and Nick, if that was our goal, or if we have a team and our team's goal is stability, this is a way we can find those stability exercises. Like Nick said, we can add them to a playlist. So check this out here. We got one. This is with the towel pucks. And so that's a good stability exercise. If we just hit here, add to playlist, that's going to save it for us. And we're going to know that we have that exercise. We can try it out later. We could add it to a workout. But we know, hey, that was a neat one, and we're going to try that out again. And as we just scroll through the app here, we're just looking at all types of stability exercises and deciding on, well, hey, wow, I like this one, that one-legged balance with the dowel. We got a dowel, so let's add that one to playlist. Boom, there we go, added to playlist. And so it's just that easy to kind of scroll through the app, add to playlist. But let's now imagine, let's imagine for a second that our friend Chris, that he just showed up. Now, Chris, you know, our friend, he uses a power chair for his exercises. So if we wanted to change up our exercise selection to include Chris, we're going to click on seated, right? Yeah. So we're going to add seated now, and we're going to tell the app that it knows we want to work on stabilization. And let's go ahead and let's find things that we can do. And here's all kinds of exercises that can be performed if we're in a seated position. So even if it doesn't show somebody sitting down, we know that these exercises are exercises that we can do sitting down that are also going to work on stability. So we can be inclusive to anybody in our group just by going up there to those filters. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Let's add one more to our playlist here. Let's add this perimeter shot to the playlist. And here, last up, everybody will show you real quick. If I want to go to my playlist now, remember all those exercises that I saved, I click on playlist and look at yeah, that. And there we go. It's all out there. It's all Save up there. It. So we saved it all here. Again, we can go and assign this workout. If we're an athlete, we can complete this workout. And again, this is just one of the many ways you can use the app. It's just that easy. If me and Nick, we are, we're friends. We can use this app together to share exercises. I can try an exercise out at maybe level 
2A and Nick can come back and say, oh, I'm going to try it out at level 3A and we can challenge itself, ourselves for progress. This is also going to keep us accountable. So if we're trying to make good habits and trying to exercise every day and we're trying to maybe work with a team that's going to help us exercise every day, the app's going to track that. It's going to save your exercises, your workouts if you enjoyed it, the difficulty level. It's going to keep that information for you so that you're able to keep accountable, stay on track. And if you're working with maybe some new friends one week, maybe you got a new friend coming over and they're going to help you out with something. Well, they can use that app and find out what do you love to do? What have you done in the past? And where's a good starting point to start working out today and every day? Because that's what it's about, right, Nick? Yeah. 365 days? Yeah. And if you miss a day? Do they, it's okay. They bad out the next day. Just pick it back up the next day. So everybody, thank you for joining us, me and Nick, with this video, trying to help you to understand, again, just how easy the TrueFit app can work for you to help your friends, your community, your tribe, your family. We made it for you. We want to help empower you to our fullest extent. So if you have any questions, feel free to message us, reach out, out, reach out to us on the website, and we will do our best to try to help you become your best. And we will do you on the other day of the bridge. See you on the other side of the bridge. Great job. Great job, man. Are we done? Yeah, that was, we, that was one take. We did it in one. 